Today I'm going to unbox and uh, kind of review this uh, new Verizon uh, 5G internet gateway, new product from Verizon, which is pretty cool because uh, it's going to be utilizing the existing 5G uh, cell phone towers to provide home internet. Um, obviously, we all use their cell phone uh, network to access the internet via your cell phone, but now you have the capability of accessing accessing the uh, 5G internet um, through your home utilizing uh, their new gateway that they're providing. Um, the service is $25 a month, which was pretty cheap. There's no um, initiation fee, there's no activation fee, there's no device fee, there's no cancellation fees actually as well, and there's no rental fee. Uh, it's a straight $25 a month for 300 megabytes of, of data or of uh, speed. And uh, I currently have AT&T internet, which is only giving me about 25 megabytes of, of speed. Uh, with this product, you're gonna get at least 300 megabytes of speed at a cost of $25 a month, which is a really good price, especially that you don't have to have, pay any initiation fees or, or startup fees or any device fees in terms of renting the device. Um, comes in this pretty cool looking box, sleek black box. I'm going to open it up, see what's inside, give you a perspective in terms of how big the device is. Um, in terms of how much space it takes up. Pretty cool looking box. Here is the uh, cube. Small looking cube, pretty cool looking. Uh, square little box, as you can see here. Um, get a good perspective in terms of the size of the box. Um, comes in this nice packaging here. Um, you've got your setup guide right here. Pretty simple steps as you can see. Uh, you've got your package contents here which is your power adapter, your ethernet cable as well. We'll open this box up here just to show you what comes inside with your standard power cable. Uh, you've got your Ethernet cable here, uh, the instructions for installing the uh, Verizon Internet Gateway simply just says plug it in, place it near your window and plug in to a power outlet using the AC adapter, wait for it to start up, check for a solid white light, and then it also says to uh, download your Verizon app. Um, so as you see here, here's the device right here. It's pretty cool looking little cube. Simple. And again, what's cool about this is that it's going to use uh, the 5G service that's being provided now. Uh, I know there's limitations in terms of certain cities that have it. Not all cities or locations have 5G currently. Um, but right now, where we're located, we have uh, the 5G service available. And... Verizon offering this home internet uh, gateway to connect to the internet uh, wirelessly. Of course, um, currently with AT&T, you're connected via cable, cable wire. Um, with this service, you'll be able to connect wirelessly utilizing cell phone towers within the area using the 5G network, um, which has quicker speeds and, and higher reliability, which is always great. Uh, so we don't have to worry about any outages uh, like you do with your, your traditional cable. I'm going to take off the plastic covering here. I guess we can simply just rip this, this off here. And we'll see this cube. Again, pretty cool looking cube. Really light. Uh, we've got the adapter here. And we've got the Ethernet cable. Um, currently, if I do a speed test where I'm at now, um, I get probably about 25 uh, megabits um, with the current service I have, and I'm doing a speed test right now, as you can see here. And currently, I am looking at a speed of, or download speed of about 22 megabits download. And right now I'm doing the, uh, the upload speed. And we are looking at 5.78 megabits upload and 22 megabits download. So significant difference between this 
and this new product from Verizon, which will give me uh, about 300 megabits download speeds. So I'm going to connect it, and then I'll run a test after I connect this device to see how much quicker my services will be. So now I'm going to test the uh, speed after I've installed the Verizon 5G gateway uh, for home internet. And I used to have about 25 to 28 megabytes. Now, as you see, I'm up to at least 216. And I've done it a few times and I've gotten all the way up to about 290, which is great.